Oh boy, I forgot to make an executable out of my DBase system here. Okay, let's take care of that now. Notice I have all the requisite elements. fe.py, my front end. b.py, the back end file. imps.database. And this setup.py file. Let's take a look at this guy. So I open up this setup.py file and it says from the disutils.core file, could you import a program called setup? And the system says, sure, I'll go get that guy. Oh, while you're at it, uh, could you go import py2exe? It's okay, I'll, uh, I'll go do that too if you'd like. Yeah, I'd like that. And then Mr. Setup, that's this guy, the one we just imported a second ago. Well, Mr. Setup, I'd like you to go grab this list of files here. Well, in our case, it's only one file, uh, evy.py. I'd like you to translate this guy into an executable. Would you do that for me? He says, sure, no, no problem. And that's why we have the word console equals right here, so that you will know that it is to be followed by a list of files, comma delimited files that are to be translated into an executable. And go take care of that for me, would you? All right, you have to work in the right syntax. Well, let's go do that right now. Well, as you can see up here, I got to go here in my command window. So let's do that now. I went to the F drive, and now I'm going to change directories to Pi Apps, and I'm going to change directories to Pi GUI DBase System, and then I'm going to change directories to Pi DB Part 10. Let me make this a bit wider here. Let's key in the command to translate this into an executable file. Pyther? Yes, I want you to uh, take that setup.py program that we were uh, keying in a little while ago. Yeah, yeah, I know that one. I'd like you to hand that over to Mr. Py2exe program, and he'll know what to do with it. He'll translate our fe.py and be.py into the appropriate executable. Okay, he says, uh, very good then. That's what we'll do. Now let me move this over just a tad. And I'm going to hit the Enter key now, and let's see what happens. We're not done yet. Well, after giving me a couple of scary messages here, it's come to an end. And let's see if it's rectified those problems on its own. There's one way to find out, and that is, let's go to PyDB Part 10. And you can see I've got the DIST folder here. That's where our executable is located. Let's double click on them. And I put my imps.db in here a second ago. And oh, there he is, fe.exe. Let's double click on this guy and see if it works now. And up it comes. Let's list records. And there's Peter Rabbit. I don't have a Peter Rabbit at the end. I'm going to click on Peter Rabbit, add the records, and list them again. That means I should have Peter Rabbit over here on the end. Let's click on him. I just did. Let's delete him. He's gone. That's right. He's not at the bottom anymore. And let's see. We did delete, add records, and list records. Let's do an update now. Oh, Tronald Dump. Who is he? Tronald Dump. Let's change that to Donaldo Trumpsito. Add that record in. And uh, let's list the records, and there he is. So updating works also. Did I have another record? Tronald Dump? All right, let's see. Let's uh, change this to uh, Rinaldo and Dumpsito. And now let's update and see if this Tronald Dump is still there. And no, he's gone. So, updating worked fine. Trinaldo Dump is now Rinaldo. Okay, everything is good. 
Now, what about find? All right, let's see if we can find. Let's see. Let's clear this off. Let's see if we can find Dumpsito. Find him. And there he is. Ronaldo Dumpsito immigration done. It's perfect. I click on clear. Almost that worked. And exit. Everything worked out fine. So we've now got our executable, fe.exe, and it works just fine.